Well hi everyone, 6th of October about 2.30 in the afternoon and the sky has been turned yellow because there's bushfires in the area. I can smell the smoke in the air and uh, I know from all the, um, the updates on Facebook that there's quite a major fire nearby. I'm hoping that it doesn't come near us but uh, I can certainly smell the smoke now and I've had to get a few things ready just in case it does come our way. We're surrounded pretty much by fields here, so I'm not too worried because like over in this, over that direction is all bush. Um, but that's the northeast and at this stage there's never been a fire come from the northeast. The wind usually comes from the northwest where the fire is currently now, but there's major farms in our way with green grass everywhere as you can see on the horizon. Everything is still green because up until only a few days ago we were in pretty cool weather, even cold weather and it's just turned this crazy like summer heat all of a sudden for a few days and it seems as though there's a fire or two have got out of control and it's very eerie when the sun changes colour and, uh, and you can smell the smoke so I'll see what happens, I'll update you soon if there's any changes, see what happens. Hi, well it's now an hour later, 3.30 in the afternoon, and I've just received a message on Facebook uh, from the Weather Bureau, the Watch and Act um, updates that they send out quite regularly, that the fire over in Yellingbo is now under control, and you can see that there's actually, even though it started to cloud over, it's actually looking better, and the temperature has dropped, even though the wind is still coming from the northwest. And uh, it's looking like we'll be okay anyway. I don't know about the people directly in line of fire though. Um, the fire's under control. Still things can happen, you never know. They've obviously got to keep watching it. And it's a warning for all of us here, especially me where I am here, and for, well, for many others in bush areas, it's a warning for all of us that we've got to keep an eye out this summer, maybe more so than couple of previous summers where it's been reasonably mild. Um, this summer we might be in for something quite hot and uh, at the moment things around here are quite green still but today is just proof that anything can happen when the temperature gets up even if it's green it still can be quite dangerous. So yeah six weeks away till summer officially begins for us here in the southern hemisphere um, yeah, it could be, could be, we could be in for a hot one. Um, so you nearly got to 35 today. It's already cooled down, must be in the high 20s now. And I think by the look of the sky with the clouds coming over, we'll get a, a cool change from that direction there. The fire's over in that direction over there. Uh, I'd say that we're safe here in Cockatoo, but I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for what might happen and also keep keep the ear to the radio so yeah it's a, it's a very good system here that we have for keeping people informed about what's going on we did lose the power when I did the last vlog an hour ago we actually had no power so I didn't realize at the time I just picked up the camera and came outside but the power had already gone off but it's back on now so and uh, we have full pressure in our water supply so that's all good that never got reduced, that can happen sometimes, the water pressure can go down and that's a bit scary when you know you can't use your water system to its full potential anyway, enough of that, look, I think we're going to be fine I'll keep watching to see what happens if anything changes but anyway, this is what happens here, especially around Melbourne it's just, our bush just lights up on hot days if someone puts a match to it or there's a lightning strike. No lightning strikes today. I don't know what caused the fire. I haven't found out about that one yet. Probably hear about that on the news. We'll see what happens. Okay guys, talk to you soon. Bye.